Hello viewers, it's K Felix here and I welcome you to my YouTube channel K Felix Inspire. I would like to say a very big thank you to all of you for the support and the contribution you are giving to this channel. If you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. Stay tuned for more details in this report. Right. Uh, good morning, uh, viewers, wherever you are watching us from. Uh, this morning, I uh, uh, want to basically just add a voice to the unfortunate incidents that occurred in Katete, which uh, I want to believe has uh, saddened everywhere well in Zambia. Um, to have our men and women in uniform, uh, those from law enforcement agencies, the police, uh, brutalized like that by citizens, I think all of us must um, sit back and reflect. Like many people have said and suggested <coughs> clearly, the level of confidence that the people have uh, towards the police is uh, diminishing at a fast rate each and every day after the UPND took over government. The moment there is clear interference in the operation of uh, government organs like the police and uh, a clear um, systematic process of compromising the professionalism of police, the police service, uh, the citizens begin to take the law in their own hands. We have taken time to comment because we wanted to analyze what transpired in Katete. And um, information we're getting was that uh, there was an allegation and suspicion that people were involved in heinous crimes, in this case murder, and the, the citizens in that community took it upon themselves <coughs> to uh, ins institute a citizen's arrest within the confines of the law and handed the suspects to the police. Because of the nature of uh, uh, that crime, uh, I think the police, if all departments and facets of the police service were functioning properly. We also know that the police has uh, police intelligence. We were going to have uh, a situation where the, the ground would have been known as uh, what tension was in the community before the police could move in the manner that they did. And uh, of course there are many reasons for which our citizens across the board are frustrated and to that effect it is important that we all know that we are living in a very delicate time and we have to act responsibly responsibly both those who are in government those of us who are in opposition and of course more so those who are given and tasked or mandated with the responsibility to maintain peace and order uh, the IG Mr. Kajo was, you know, um, time in office from the time he was appointed, he has been a big disappointment and let down. Having been known as a, one who saved the, the service, as spokesperson of the police and held different ranks, people gave him a benefit of doubt even when they knew that he had retired and become a UPND cadre. But I think he has failed to remove the jacket of a UPND cadre and he has attempted to make the police service a branch of UPND. So the perception the citizens have towards the police service is not good and therefore all of us must uh, work together to restore professionalism, restore the confidence and dignity of that service by insisting that professionalism is restored to the police service. Uh, what has happened in Katete is very sad. 
every citizen of the Republic. We must stand with the police. We must uh, demand that uh, the political hand that has been compromising and uh, interfering with the work of the uh, service is uprooted. The paging of the police service of professional officers, some of which have, some of which have served um, uh, the service for many years and they have institutional memory and they know what needs to be done at particular moments. We need to have the new government, Mizaka in the Ichirema, to reflect on the, that continued paging, some of them on tribal lands, ethnic lines, some of them just by classification or the stereotype wanting to make, to make them um, as Utuaya classified as you know, members of the opposition. That attitude is not correct. Misaka in the has continued to be embarrassed by the contrast being created by President Ruto of Kenya, who, for example, had promised before getting into office that under his watch, no one will be arrested for defamation of the president. When it comes to Misaka, he made the same similar promise. But in Kenya, when one of the citizens seemed to have said something derogatory against the president, and the police swung in action to arrest that person, President Ruto didn't only sanction the police officer, but he also reaffirmed his commitment that such an action will not be permitted under his watch. Further, just a few days ago, President Ruto was making a fame pronouncement that under his watch he wants the, prof the police to operate professionally, protect all citizens, including the opposition, especially the ordinary citizens. But here in Zambia, the contrary is true. The pronouncement coming from the president, the actions coming from the executive, suggest that they believe the police service in Zambia belongs to UPND. It must work for UPND under the details of UPND. The result is having citizens perceive the police service as an extension of a political party. That we must stop. And the result is what we saw in Katete. We hope that uh, the situation in Katete and other parts of the country will be content. We need to enjoy peace and order as we have inherited as it from our founding fathers. And Misaka Indechirema must know that uh, his popularity, as he claims to have been uh, voted in by 2.8, is not as he thought it was. Uh, just look at uh, uh, northwestern province where he went. Um, a province, a district, Sorwezi, that clearly during the vote, the voting day and the, the elections of 2021, people there were determined to even kill for him. They even actually killed for him. But this time around, he was walking around and driving around Sorwezi in, in, you know, uh, without any reaction from the citizens. That is supposed to be a sign to the president that he may not be enjoying the support that he thought he is enjoying. He needs to sit down and reflect. If I said it in, in Bemba, that sit down and reflect, they will say defamation of the president. Maybe today we should use English. Let him sit down and reflect. Number two, we were zooming uh, in their fundraiser. If you have a head of state, have a fundraising dinner, and you raise 160,000 kwacha as head of state, then you must know there is a problem. Uh, we don't want to talk much about that. It is uh, an internal affair of UPND. We may not be fully interested, but it's just a sign that something is really, has really gone wrong. And therefore, the attitude of the president, the attitude of the executive must change. Thank you very much, and God bless.